Let's do it. Three, two, one. Maybe I'll get into it after a bit. Let's see what happens. So, hi everyone. Here we are, 10 years on. Uh, well, 10 years from when the channel took off, really. Uh, and I just want to talk about the state of the channel today. Uh, and well, I'm going to be reading from like a bit of a guide because that I wrote down last night. And I don't really want to miss anything. And I'm terrible at talking on camera. Never going to get any better at it unless I start trying. So here we are. There'll be loads of jump cuts and all that shit. So we're just going to carry on. So what happened to the channel? Basically, when I was consistent with this channel, it was back in that orange bedroom. That was like the bedroom, my childhood bedroom. Uh, and I had all the time in the world to create and no real problems or anything like that. I was steady away. Uh, and then after a, a five-year relationship came to a sudden end, uh, I started drinking, basically, uh, and it got in a bad way. And that ultimately led to me getting kicked out of my best friend's wedding. Uh, that's all good now. Me and Chris are really good friends. He plays the bass in the Basilisks, and uh, I love his family to bits. But after that wedding, I sort of started smoking weed, and I left my hometown, and I thought I'd never go back ever again. Uh, and then that's when I started release by Zach and Wood, Zach and my cousin Sam. And then we ended up moving to Europe, traveling around Europe together. And then that's when I started a phase of doing other drugs and stuff and partying all the time because I thought I was missing out on something. Uh, and then it turns out I was only missing out on myself. Um, I was playing music with like the, the, just the best musicians I've ever met and just throwing it all away. Um, the only thing I learned about doing drugs was drugs are for losers. And if you're not a loser when you start doing them, you definitely will be by the time you stop doing them, unless you end up dead. Uh, yeah, I just wish I could scream at my old self just to get a fucking life, really. I became a loser. I just became weak. Uh, I became a pushover. Just didn't care about anything anymore. I was angry and I would take it out on all the people I loved the most. Um, and I just lost like all motivation to do anything really. And then after a few years of being around Europe and stuff, came the pandemic. And then I ended up moving back to my hometown. And then that's when I just got into a black hole and I just, I, I didn't even recognize myself in the mirror anymore. Um, and then a couple of months into lockdown, I had a spiritual awakening, uh, which I didn't know was a real thing. And, uh, and then an ego death, which was the most painful experience of my life. Uh, took me. I was in a really dark place for about three years. Uh, and if you don't know what a spiritual awakening is, it's like kind of like, well, imagine you're playing like a game and it goes into a cutscene. Like you're aware that it's happening. Uh, you're watching it, but it's just you. It's just weird. I'd fucking, I don't want to spoil the surprise too much because it's like, well, it's all a bit weird, isn't it? That's what my album is was about. It's all a bit weird. It's about my spiritual awakening. Uh, I'm going to do another video on that soon because I well, I just I spent a year and a half on it and I just I put everything into it basically when I was at my worst. And even after lockdown, I, I only kept in touch with a handful of people uh, and I just kept myself very isolated uh, and I had to turn inwards and face all the darkest, deepest parts of my soul. Uh, and it, and it it all sounds made up. Like I never knew, I never believed that something like this could happen to me. It sounds made up, but it trust me, it's very fucking real when you're going through it. And I was an atheist all my life as well up until this point. Uh, and that's yeah, that's also when my drinking and smoking peaked because I just didn't have a fucking clue what was going on with me. Uh, and I know some of you will be thinking, oh fuck, Ben's lost his mind. But I think that's the whole point is to lose your mind and start living from you know your soul. And all that shit, so... But I used to think spirituality was all woo-woo garbage as well, man. Like, uh, I used to get angry at Zach, the bass player, for, you know, being late for gigs because he was, like, talking to a bunch of seagulls or something. Uh, and now I understand why. And also, if you if you are going through anything like this, uh, I have my spiritual coach when, like, I was at rock bottom. I found a guy on YouTube called Jamie Monday. I'll leave a link. And he's... Basically, he basically saved my life. Um, I do yoga with him and breath work and all that stuff. Love you, Jamie. And then after them few years of 
just been down and out and trying to f- remember who I was. Uh, a- April of this year, I lost my dad, and he was like the biggest Squid Physics fan going. And he was an absolute legend. He was a musician. He was a harmonica player and an incredible artist. He did some of the cover art for my albums. He's done... Oh, I'll, I'll show you some of his art one time. Uh, I know he's up there now. I know he's up there now guiding me from the other side. I can hear him in my head all the time with one of his quotes. I know exactly what he'd say to most situations, you know, like... But, um, yeah, and then he... So he left my... He left his house to me, my brother, and my sister, uh, which I'm going to be moving into soon. So hopefully I'll have a bit more stability so I can start creating stuff again. Um, But, yeah, when I lost my dad, that was, like, the final blow, really. Uh, And from that point, uh, I wanted a fresh start. And I've been trying to quit smoking and drinking for years, but I could never really make it past, like, a week. I tried quit every Monday, and then by the Thursday, Friday, I was doing it again. And then I was saying next week, next week. But this time, I've I've been sober now for three months, which is fucking massive. And uh, my body's still adjusting to it all. So I know I look a bit like shit. I lost loads of weight. But like, I can I can feel myself getting stronger and more clarity every day. I'm starting to see the beauty in life again, which I don't think is possible or fully possible when you've got addictions like that. I don't want to ever have to go through them withdrawals again, man, because it was just horrendous. And I knew I couldn't make this video and come back to YouTube until that was all behind me. Like, uh, to be completely honest with you, I, weed has crept back in a couple of times. I had a, I, I smoked, I ended up smoking last weekend. And I ended up hating myself so much. I was just like, what, the f- what is this anymore? It's just, it just doesn't serve you. It it, it's, it did at first because it like masked all the pain of everything I was going through. And then it sort of ran its course. You think it makes, you think it makes you, you creative. Like if you're the creative type like me, like you think it's adding but it's not, it's just blocking you. And I didn't, I, I hated the idea of smoking. I just thought it was pointless. Until I was 25 and all that shit happened. I can hear my Uncle Dave downstairs swearing about and that. I think we're put on this planet to create and inspire the next generation. And now all my mates have kids and stuff. I was just like, I just don't want to be that person anymore, really. I actually don't miss my old life at all. Like, hanging around in shitty places with fake dickheads. Uh, I've got fewer friends now, but they're more wholesome and they actually want to do things. And this is not aimed at anyone in particular. Like, I have, I still have people, lots of people I love that still have their vices and stuff, but they've got their lives together and I didn't. Like, these last few months have been like a roller coaster. But I've been so productive. Um, I've been writing again. I've got a few videos in the pipeline. I've even been writing a musical. Uh, I just see like I don't know. I just see like life as a game, and you you just want to sit on your ass in GTA and, and and smoke and drink. It's like the most boring thing to do, isn't it? So get out there and do some it. And I think for me, the hardest thing about quitting smoking and drinking was having to accept how much like time and energy and money and just life in general that had been wasted. But you can't go back. You've just got to go forward, don't you? So here we are. I don't want anyone, everyone to think I'm preaching and shit because, like, when, when I had the ego death, I realised that I'm just an insignificant speck of dust in the universe and the more and more I learn about spirituality, the more I realised I don't have a, a fucking clue about it. Uh, and it's just a constant unfolding journey, really. I was just making my own life hell, really. It, it was miserable to be me and I'm the only one who wants to be me, so it was time for a change. So the good news is is this channel is dead. So I can do whatever I want with it now. I used to feel like a massive amount of pressure um, when I used to do covers and people just smacking the comments, do this, do this. It's just like, it's just so boring. It's like some of the most complex songs I did, like the orchestral ones, I'd spend like 40 hours like figuring out all the parts, like learning to play them, putting them all together. And it was just like, just for like a minute's worth of content. And it was just spreading myself too thin uh, with all these different instruments. Um, and you go to one and practice on one, you go to back to the other and you can't, it's just this constant trying to keep up with yourself. Um, so I just, I thought it'd be better to narrow it down to the ones I actually enjoy, um, like drums and guitar and stuff. And just, and, and focusing on things I actually enjoy as well. Like 
writing and producing and playing live music is probably my favorite thing to do. Um, Squid Physics was and always will be like an umbrella term, like a record label. Um, back in the day, before any of the GTA stuff went up, it, uh, I used to upload videos of my friends eating dirty sandwiches and stuff like that. It was it was pretty funny, but it never got anywhere. And then the GTA stuff took, the, and then the uh, GTA stuff took off overnight. So that's why I carried on doing video game covers for a while. Um, it was never the plan. Before it had anything to do with music, Squid Physics was actually a publishing company for our comic, Peagle, which is also me and Mooney. And we made a comic and working on the second one, actually. So it'll be done when it's done. And so what's the future for the channel? I don't know, really. It's still going to be primarily music. But there's going to be other stuff as well. Because when I get to my dad's house, I'm going to be building a music studio. Uh, just like I'll be promoting my bands through it. If I'm in a few bit different bands. Uh, I do a lot of extreme sports. I started skydiving. Um, just going on adventures, road trips. But um, just whatever, really. Just not really got any plans. I might even talk about some weird esoteric stuff. Because I think spirituality and music are so heavily linked, like, uh, music is a gift, isn't it? That we all get to use to express ourselves. Maybe no one will care, but I don't get any views anyway at the moment. I'm not going to do covers for views. I don't give a shit about views. I don't care about numbers. I make just enough money to live on and not have to work a normal job. I have worked at McDonald's, Marks and Spencer's. Uh, I used to valet cars, and I was a lifeguard for a bit and stuff. So I'm just grateful that I don't have to work a normal job really and everything else is just a bonus after that i still might do the odd cover every now and then if it ticks all the boxes i need to like the song to want to do it and it's got to mean something to me and uh main thing is i'm creating again uh because after that album i didn't really touch music at all didn't even play music didn't think about it for about two years i also i want to ex establish like a connection with you guys and i've never been able to do that because of my fear of the camera and uh, just fear of making a fool of myself. Don't want to make these big videos where I'm just showing off like, look at me, look how many instruments I can play. It's like, you know, I learned so much from doing covers and figuring out songs and learning what everything does in, in music, like le learning what all the instruments, like what parts, where, you know, what all the different things in the song are doing. Like, I want to give back and teach and, you know, interact with you guys and... I don't know, it's just in a world full of so much fake bullshit, I want to be as authentic as possible and connect with people for the good of the colony, you know. So things might still be a little slow for a while, um, but I'm definitely on my way back. Uh, by the end of the year, I'll have def there'll definitely be some content and we'll just go from there. And thank you. If you're still around now at this point, Thank you to everyone, fans, friends, family, and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm just well, I'm sorry I lost myself, really. And onwards and upwards. I hope that, I think that covers everything. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end it there. I just hate doing this so much, but we've done it now. Uh, I'm going to try and I'll, I'll, and I'll give another video like this a go in a couple of days and see what happens. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.